हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो ऑन डिजिटल कंप्यूटर फंडामेंटल्स डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बिगैन इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स विद इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिजिटल कंप्यूटर कॉल्ड एनियक विच वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड विद वैक्यूम ट्यूब सर्क्यूट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिजिटल कंप्यूटर कैन बी ट्रेस्ड to charles babbage who developed a mechanical computation device in 1830s the first digital computer was built in 1944 at harvard university but it was electromechanical not electronic and the term digital is derived from the way in which computers perform operation by counting digits and these digits in computer system are 0 and 1 which are called bits In digital system two voltage level represent two binary digits 1 and 0 if the higher of the two voltages represent a 1 and the lower voltage represent a 0 the system is called positive logic system on the other hand if the lower voltage represent a 1 and the higher voltage represent a 0 we have the negative logic system suppose that we have plus 5 volts and 0 volts as our logic level voltages and we designate this plus 4 5 volts as high level and 0 volts as low level in this case the positive and negative logic can be represented as positive logic high equal to 1 low equal to 0 and negative logic where high equal to 0 and low equal to 1 and these po both positive and negative logics are used in digital system but positive logic is the more common one and for this reason in this tutorial we will be making use of positive logic throughout the lectures now pulses are very important in the operation of digital circuit because voltage levels are normally changing back and forth between the high and low states now here is a single positive pulse that is generated when the voltage goes from the normal low level to the high level and then back to its low level and we also have a negative pulse wherein the voltage go, go goes from the normal high level to low level and back to the high level now you will notice there are two edges here one is the leading edge another is the trailing edge for a positive pulse the leading edge is the positive going transition and the trailing edge is the negative going transition and this kind of in this case if you see this particular pulse waveform you will see that the rising and falling edges change in zero time instantaneously it changes and such waveforms we call it as ideal pulse so if you have a pulse which is changing the from the low level suddenly it is going to the high level with zero time we call it as an ideal pulse now here we have a non ideal pulse in this case there is a little time that it takes to move from low level to high level now generally it is common to measure rise time from 10% of the pulse amplitude to 90% of the pulse amplitude and we measure the fall time from 90% to 10% of the pulse amplitude now the time required for the pulse to go from its low level to its high level is called as the rise time it is generally represented as tr and the time required for the transition from the high level to low level is called the fall time and the pulse width is a measure of the duration of the pulse and is often defined as the time between 50 percentage of the points on the rising and falling edges and most of the waveforms that encountered in digital systems are composed of a series of pulses and can be classified as either periodic or non periodic and a periodic pulse waveform is one that repeats itself at a fixed interval called a period t so here in this case you can see a periodic waveform with which is repeating at a fixed time interval of t where t1 equal to t2 equal to t3 equal to t4 equal to tn and a non periodic pulse waveform 
does not repeat itself at fixed intervals and may be composed of pulses of differing pulse width at different time intervals between the pulses. So here you can see an example wherein you have a non-periodic waveform. Now this is about an introductory on digital computer fundamentals. We will discuss about number system in the next video. Thank you.